welcome back to the channel. This is a video that I know will be hotly anticipated because don't we all have piles of laundry? <laughs> Couldn't resist the joke. The team and I at The Organised Mum have been... Oh, you gonna... <laughs> Did you just hear? That was my... That was my dog, my Jack Russell puppy, who was just the not appreciating joke there, the awful joke at all. The team and I have gathered these tips together. We've got a Facebook group, the Organised One Facebook group. Um, and if you haven't been, if you haven't checked it out, go and have a look. There's like almost, not quite, but almost 200,000 members. Now I know the internet can be full of wallies, but we like to keep it. We've got an amazing team of moderators and they really do help to keep it as wally free as possible. So we've gathered these tips from that group. Go and check it out if you're on Facebook. And hopefully we've done the hard work, we've done all of the sifting and the researching through all of the top laundry comments to con consolidate it down into this video because we know that you're short on time. So here are the top laundry tips that are going to save you time and also save the piles from developing. The first thing that I would say Indutibly, indutibly, no, the first thing that I would say is the most important thing about laundry is making sure that if you decide to have a laundry system that it is as uncomplicated as possible. It's all very well and good going on Pinterest and developing this nine point system, this nine step laundry system that looks amazing when you first initiate it, you've got empty laundry baskets, you've got staging shelves, you've got this over here. Do ne never, and this, this applies to everything in life, don't set yourself up for a fall. Don't implement a routine or a laundry method or anything else in life that you can't realistically keep up with because at worst you're gonna waste a load of money like just buying all of these extra extra stuff to support a, a laundry system that you're just not going to be able to maintain and at best you're going to waste your time and end up feeling just really demotivated laundry systems that are unsexy that just get down to the nitty-gritty get it done and then washed dried and then sorted like literally are your friend so don't implement unnecessary steps unless you know that they are necessary for you and your family and more importantly you know that you can maintain them so that is the one massive thing that is really important to say right at the top of this video the first tip is to fold everything as soon as it's dry get it washed and this is like i know that this can be a thing as soon as that washing machine is finished get it out get it out of the washing machine Otherwise it's gonna languish in there and it's gonna smell, isn't it? Like that really telltale, my clothes are slightly damp when I put them in the drawer. That musty smell. And then you're gonna end up re-washing them, which you're gonna waste time, waste energy, waste money. We don't wanna be doing that. So make sure that before you even start a load, are you going to be able to take it out to dry it when it's done? So ask yourself that question first. So it's now washed, you take it out and the, most important thing to do here is get as much moisture out as possible. So lots of different washing machines have different spin cycles. Get it on the highest spin that is suitable for the garments that you are washing. So have a little look, make sure that that's suitable. And if you want to, especially if you're doing sheets, if you're doing a clean sheet day or that sort of thing, sheet changeover, it might be worth popping that machine on for an extra spin cycle. So it's done its thing, it's gone through a whole washing cycle. Can you put it on for an extra spin? Does your machine offer you that option? Mine does, it's like a 10 minute extra spin. It's gonna get even more moisture out or you can get those old fashioned spin dryers now as well. I did a video on one of them recently. They're amazing just for getting as much moisture out as possible, which means it's gonna take less time to dry. So if you are using the tumble dryer, less time equals using less energy which is going to save you money or if you're getting them on the washing line it's going to take less time to dry so as soon as they're washed and as soon as you've got as much moisture out of those garments or sheets as possible 
dry them. And then as soon as they are done, don't leave them in the washing machine or the dryer languishing for ages because you will essentially bake creases into them. As soon as they are dry, get them out and fold them, lay them flat, do whatever it is, give them a good shake, do whatever it is that is going to help reduce the amount of ironing that you need to do. I hardly do any ironing because I implement these tips and it means that I hardly ever have to iron anything unless like we're going to a wedding or someone's got a job interview or something like that. So with most things when it comes to organisation, it's the same with laundry. It's about doing things in the moment that are going to make the future life or the future process easier. So taking things out of the tumble dryer before they get the creases baked in is going to save you ironing. Making sure that you get as much moisture out of those garments as possible is going to save you time on drying them and also save you money if you are using a tumble dryer. Next tip is sock or laundry nets. Now I'm going to mention a couple of things in this video that I get from Amazon. I'm going to link them in the description below and I'll pop a link to my Amazon shop just so that you can have a little look and see what I'm talking about. But sock and laundry nets, these are an absolute game changer. If you've got quite a lot of people in your family and I know people do things like buying everyone black socks, but like if everyone's got different size feet, that can itself can become problematic. But odd socks can become an issue. Not with sock nets or laundry nets. Essentially, you give every single member of your family a sock net or a laundry net. They put their smalls in there, their socks, their under underwear. Trick, don't fill it too full. Like We don't want these coming back packed, like completely packed, creaking under the weight of dirty socks and underpants. We want the garments to be able to move freely within the net. So don't overfill them. So say Carol, Carol's put her socks and her pants and all sorts into this laundry net she zips up the laundry net she pops it into the washing machine does its thing she takes it out of the washing machine if she uses a tumble dryer that sock net can go straight into the tumble dryer without the socks ever escaping the zip and then she takes it out dry and she hands it to whoever it belongs to it could be herself or whatever it keeps everyone's socks smalls and etc away from everyone else's and everyone who's just in charge of their own bag. It is an absolute game changer. So let's talk about ironing. As I just said, I don't really iron. The key to reducing your ironing is being your future friend and putting preventative steps in place so that you are reducing the need for you to iron. So things that I like to do are give everything a really good shake. A really good shake works wonders. I promise you, like a good flick, a nice, don't be shy, just give it a good flick making sure that you are not overloading your dryer, making sure that you're not leaving piles of clothes lying around. Once they're dry, get them to their end destination, coat hanger in a wardrobe. And talking of hangers, this is the second pro product that we are gonna recommend on this video. Now, I know that lots of you will have heard the tip for hanging clothes onto a washing line. So dresses, shirts, t-shirts, pop them on a hanger, pop the hanger on the washing line, it just helps them to dry and it helps the creases to fall out. And also that's really handy. You just take the dry, the hanger off and it goes straight in the wardrobe. But if you've ever tried it, you might have found yourself in a situation where the hanger slides to the corner of the washing line because of the weight. And then I found a product on Amazon, which are washing line hooks specifically for you to put your hanger on. So I've got some. And they're absolutely genius and they're cheap as chips. They are linked below. So if you're avoiding ironing, it's all about prevention. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're happy, healthy and well. From me and from the rest of the team at The Organised Mum, we'll speak to you next time.